welcome to Shoeman's Model Shop. And what we're going to be working on is part three of the Batman Lego Tumbler. Um, so we've got, we left off at part 20, so we're going to start off with part 21. And this is the part that we finished in part 20. And you can see, again, this is a pretty simple step. We've got the these two little L brackets, and they are going to go... right there so at the top corner do they go on the inside or the outside they look like they go on the outside we'll snap them in place and that's it for page 21 now we're on to page 22, and the parts we're going to use are a long gray, some square, little squares, and then we've got an interesting part here, which is you basically will use. Oops, right, dropped one. It has a little. Looks like a little clamping, like somebody's going to clamp in the top of that. So the first part we're going to put in is, and again, we have these little squares. There are two, there's a black and a gray. So we want to put the gray pieces right. There we snap in like so. And we'll snap in this longer gray one right here in the middle. Make sure they get all snapped in tight. Then next we're going to have, looks like we have these and they are going to go, looks like we have two different sets. So we're gonna start with the gray one and on the instructions, it's got a two pegs between the last one, so that would go here. Let's see. And that's gonna snap in there like that. And then we put in two of these, so I, would, I would call them kind of special parts. That little, they have the little snap in and one on each side like, like that and then on the other side we're going to do We're going to do more on this side with these little pieces. So we're going to go, and they go, so. Let's see here. All right, then we take the black four square. Make sure they're snapped in good and tight. And the next two pieces. And it's just, I just want to double check to make sure these are in the right place. So what I'm running into is it looks like these seem to be in the right place according to what I'm seeing in the manual, but then it looks like there should be more space here. Like there should be two rows. These ones are, are correct, but these ones look like they might be out of place. Because they're supposed to be even. And we can move it up. Or it could be the manual's just off. 
Oh, I think I see what's going on here. So let me show you, I, I did something a little wrong, and again, that's why I love these things. You go back and refix on these pieces here, these square ones, they need to go farther up. So they need to go up one more, and then this piece needs to go up one more. And that's why I was kind of getting a little thrown off by how, when I was telling you that this these pieces here didn't look like they were in the right place, was because they weren't, because these were all in the wrong place. So, we just need to... remove everything and put it back in the right place. These are in the right place. Figures it would go right in the hole. Okay, now we'll put these in the right place, which is two over, and we should have two rows. So we snap them back in place. And there we go. And that completes page 22. On page 23, we're going to be making some sub-assemblies. So what we're doing is we're taking some of the squares. We've got some... These are... I might be hard to see, but they're, they're, they have an angle to them. They're sloped on one side. And then we have just some flat, little flat square pieces. So we're going to take... The part one, and we're going to take these, these little ones, and we're just going to place them down the middle. I think this is the first time we've done like a sub-assembly to an assembly we will move later. And then we want to do that. And let's see, we take the next piece. I think we'll just do that on each one to save some time. And then next we take one of these and place it with the bevel inside. Then we go ahead and take the rest of these and we'll put them on the same way with that bevel pointing inside. And then that does it for this sub-assembly, so... We're going to move on. We're going to place those on the big piece that we've been working on. And they are going to go Let me snap on here. So we have those two little hooks I was showing you. They will go on the outside. Then over here, pretty much the same thing. And we want to go. Make sure the higher part is there. The 
higher part is on the inside. There we go. We gotta swap this part around because that higher, there's a higher side and that needs to go on the outside. And that does it for page 23. So the parts we're gonna use on page 24 are some squares and they've got another unusual part it has a little little post sticking up there and these are all going to go on the big piece we've been working on and these pieces are going to go on this end so let's see we've got Two on the corner. And repeat on the other side. And then we have these two pieces that fit here. And the posts go pointing on the inside. And so that does it for page 24. So the parts for page 25 are some long pieces and they have these other pieces there. They have a slight slope to them and they are going to, of course, go back on the larger piece we've been working on. And they are going to go towards the front on this piece and looks like they're going to go they're going to fit right in here it's nice because there's just a spot there for them to go and then we have the inside pieces that go here with the bevel facing inside. And that is it for page 25. On page 26, we've got a couple of other parts, just, just basically your basic Lego blocks. Nothing unusual about those. And then we're gonna go back here and These are going to go on the inside. Let me get in camera there. Whoops. Actually. The other ones going first the two two ones will go in first mm -hmm. so the two post go in first And then the long ones after that. And that will do it for that stage. 
So here are the parts for page seven. Uh, again, just basic Lego blocks. These are just nice flat pieces. And again, they will be, we'll be attaching them to the part we've been working on. So I'll move it out of the way. And again, we're gonna keep working on this end. So what we're gonna do is we take the flat pieces and they go right here on the corner. And then next we have these pieces will go here. And then these will go here and here. And that will do for page 27. Like I said, these are pretty easy steps. You know, nothing major other than that one uh, sub-assembly. So now we're gonna move on to page 28. The parts for page 28 are just, again, two little regular Lego pieces. And we can see that they're gonna go just on top of what we've been, been putting up. And they go, right, Here and on the other side, and it will go right here, and that is it for page 28. And the parts again, just two more parts on 29, so just two regular Lego blocks, and they are going to go here, so where the little bevel comes down here they're going to go right snap into place there so I'm going to go ahead and stop here at page uh, 29 so it's it's coming along I know it doesn't quite look like the tumbler yet but it's it's getting there and again you can see this is going to be a big project I think we've still got you know more to add to it it's 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 fun it's it's like I said it's easy. I, I like I said I, I think sometimes people can look at it and go wow this is over daunting maybe for a younger younger kid, but like I said with adult supervision and working with them, it's pretty easy. I mean they show you the color you just small steps in the pages, and color coding. Very simple for kids. So again I want to thank you for watching, and if you in, enjoy this give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more subscribe. We've got some other projects going and again thank you for watching